Hey everybody, it's towel time. So you know what that means. We're gonna talk about some plants. <laughs> I was cleaning up my Peperomia grow space and I wanted to uh, talk about these three Peperomia because out of all the Peperomia that I do have in my collection, these are by far the easiest. I think they're the coolest. And uh, I was finally able to get names because they came without names. I got them at a, uh, a store that was selling plants for terrariums. And these guys didn't have name tags, but I was able to research. And um, one of them in particular, or maybe two of them, are kind of common, so you probably have seen them around. But uh, let's start with this one right here. I believe this one is Peperomia cubensis. Semi-succulent leaves, kind of roundish, almost heart shape. Uh, this plant hasn't been growing very quickly, but it is very, very easy to maintain. These, it's still, all these plants are still in the soil that I uh, got them in, and the soil is very dry, so I gotta water them. But all three of these plants are very drought tolerant. Um, this one in particular lets you know when it's dry because the leaves start to get softer, but these guys don't lose their leaves when it gets dry. Some Peperomia do that. They drop their leaves, they get very, very limp, and they're not happy. But these guys kind of push through it. So, uh, so this guy is very, very easy to maintain. Stays, well, so far it's stayed relatively small, but I've seen bigger specimens than this one. This one is in a two-inch pot, little planter. And uh, yeah, these guys do not get any direct light at all and very little bright light because they are about four feet away from a north facing window which means there's no sun coming in that window any time of year and being three to four feet away ensures that there isn't any like they don't have view of the sky let's put it that way but uh this is like a semi-trailing plant and you can see it has typical leaf veins of peperomia typical stems but very 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 easy have not fed this at all, and I don't think there is any fertilizer in the soil, since it's still in the soil that it came with. I haven't found any fertilizer. I'll keep checking though. It's just perlite in there. But uh, but yeah, very, very easy. And very, all these are pet friendly. Most Peperomia are, if not all, and these three are pet friendly. So if you got pets and you want something that doesn't get too big, but is very rewarding, is, um, does it need a lot of water or a lot of light? These are the way to go. So yeah, Cubensis, we'll put that one back. The next one, which is probably my favorite of these three, is um, Peperomia glabella. Some people call it a uh, canoe bush because I think it's because the leaves look like little canoes. These leaves are so thick, they're like almost solid. They feel like not real, they feel plastic. And, um, and this one, <laughs> when it gets thirsty, you wouldn't know it unless you check the soil because the leaves always, as, as far as I've seen and experienced um, in having this plant, the leaves always remain very firm and they appear hydrated. Some of these older leaves down here I can remove. I'm probably going to try propagating them. I've also propagated this plant from just the leaves. I took some leaves, I just stuck them in some sphagnum moss and they started to, you know, uh, to propagate. But I had forgotten to water them, and I thought, oh man, when I go and I check, they're probably gonna be dead. Nope, they were fine. And and they were just in a little bit of sphagnum moss. So these guys are, are troopers. They really can survive a lot. I really, really like this plant a lot. And um, you can see it's happy. It's got the little rat tail flower spikes. So uh, yeah, I really, really like this. If you can find this, uh, a lot of times these I've seen in big box stores in combination planters. And that's fine, but usually when I get a plant, I want it to be on its own. But look at how thick these leaves are. I don't know if you can really see. They're very thick. It takes a lot. If I squeeze too hard to try to bend it, they'll snap, they'll crack. So I won't do that. But I really just love this plant. I just think it's really cool. I wanna have this plant all, all over the house. Not this one plant, I wanna make more of them. <laughs> just have them everywhere, because they're easy. And if you forget about them, they're like, I'm still here. So yeah. Um, beautiful, beautiful little Peperomia plant. You can see the uh, stems have like a reddish tint, just like the Cubensis. 
except the leaves are a little more narrow and thicker. And, uh, and again, without any bright light, it's already blooming. So, I mean, this is like the third or fourth bloom cycle that I've had just this year alone. And, and I love it. I just love this plant. I just think it's really cool. I definitely recommend this one for sure. All right, put this one back. If you want something a little more unique and something cool, um, this one, I believe, is Peperomia rubella itsy bitsy. So it's like a smaller variety of rubella, and it also has the red undersides, as you can see, of the leaves. The leaves on this one also are very thick. They are very thick-leaved. Look at that. So again, you, you won't be able to really bend it. Um, very, very dry soil again, and this plant has not even not even batted a leaf. I don't know what you'd say, but anyway, <laughs> this plant is just doing fine, no matter what I do. Um, do you hear that? The cops even agree with me. Um, <laughs> so yeah, this is another really, really cool plant. This one is more of a trailer than the other two. These kind of like sprawl out kind of more than trailing. This one more is more like a trailer. Uh, yeah, this reminds me of the, I think it's called Red Twist. I also have that one too, but the leaves on this one are much thicker and it definitely does better with drought than the Red Twist. So yeah, if you are looking for something that is easy to take care of, can be really cool, pretty, depending on the variety, pet friendly, doesn't need a lot of light, doesn't need a lot of water, any of these three Peperomia I would recommend, but of course I have my favorites. <laughs> but yeah, if you have any questions on these plants, how I've been taking care of them, <clears throat> what I'm planning on doing with them, just reach out, we will discuss. Um, I believe these would also do well in semi-hydro. They probably would do well in water culture as well because Peperomia are pretty easy in that way. They're easy going. Uh, but yeah, reach out and we'll talk. Don't forget if you have not to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a video, and I will see you in the next video.